Thank you, Lyndon. Well, it is tax season, and for some, they may not be aware of all the deductions and qualifications they meet when it comes to filing, but also some things you got to be careful about. Here, joining us here to talk more about that is Marshall Clay with the Welsh Group. Good to see you this morning. Hey, good to see you. And this is mainly going to pertain to people who, you know, are at the age of 65 or older, and really some things you, you really need to be watching out for, depending on what your assets are, how much money you make, and what do you have in your investment account. Yeah, that's right. So there's always things that we can learn from our tax return, but particularly for those that are over 65. I want, I want our viewers to focus on a couple of areas. The first is the distributions from their qualified accounts. So what are their qualified accounts? I'm talking about their 401ks, their rollover IRAs, um, their Roth IRAs, um, and, then, and then also those, those, those after, after tax accounts, those individual and joint brokerage accounts. I see a lot of mismanagement in those areas. I had one uh, new prospect that came in to see me, and they were actually working with an advisor. This was kind of shocking, and they were taking massive amounts of money out of their pre-tax rollover IRA, and it was causing them to pay way more in tax than they should have been paying. Mm -hmm. They could have mixed matched what they need from their portfolio between the rollover IRA and maybe a little bit from the Roth and maybe a little bit from that after-tax joint account, and it could have dramatically reduced their taxes. And so that's what we did for them, and it was a, it was a very good result. How does somebody who doesn't have an, an expert, though, you know, figure all this out? Well, I think the first thing is really just to understand the, the, the taxation of all these accounts. I think if you intuitively get, hey, when I pull money out of my IRA, how is that going to get taxed? And in this case, it's going to be taxed at ordinary income rates. If you've already put money into a Roth IRA, that money was taxed on the front end, and now it grows tax-free moving forward, and when you make distributions, it comes out tax-free. And then obviously, an individual or joint brokerage account is taxed along the way. So if you just fundamentally understand how each of these accounts is taxed, then you can understand or, or figure out a strategy to say, hey, look, I need X amount of money from my portfolio. I need to pull a little bit from this this account, a little bit from this account, and then a little bit from the third account to, to keep those tax rates really, really low. So you got to really watch for the percentage because a lot of that is spelled out on you know, IRS.gov. You got to go looking for it, but it's, it is there. Correct. What about Medicare and how people need to think about that? Yeah, so it's not only about income tax. So there's some dangerous thresholds both on the income tax side, but also on the Medicare side. And people don't know this, that there's a sort of a separate tax bracket associated with Medicare. Um, and so, you know, when you look at this, if you exceed a, a certain threshold, Threshold and for a, a single filer, I think it's around $97,000 of modified uh, adjusted gross income. So what that is, is essentially your adjusted gross income added back some some tax uh, tax free interest or any tax free interest that you would have so this is before you take the standard deduction or the itemized deductions that's a that's a careful distinction that people need to understand but when you exceed these thresholds the the government charges you a surcharge and it's called the income related monthly adjusted amount or, or income or i'm sorry amount and it's called irma so that can be very punitive we're talking between 75 dollars and upwards of 470 dollars plus or minus per beneficiary. So if you're not aware of your income and you blow through these thresholds, it could cause your family to have to pay thousands of dollars more in Medicare Part B premium. So, so understanding where your income is coming from, how much you're, you're, you're pulling from these accounts is very important. And that's something that you can learn from your tax documents. All right. Thanks for that awareness. Marshall Clay, we do appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Still ahead now, it's Girl Scout cookie season. We